The U.S. Centers for Disease Control, or CDC, have released their annual Healthy Swimming Report, and hold on to your butts, literally, uh, because they have revealed that that strong smell you might associate with chlorine in a pool is actually caused by pee. Ditto the red irritated eyes you get while swimming in a chlorinated pool. It's not the chlorine, it's the pee. Gross. The headlines about all of this just being due to pee really confused me because I was lucky enough to grow up with a pool and as a kid, I was its primary occupant from spring to fall every year. You couldn't get me out of the pool. And I remember the uh, strong smell and the irritation in my eyes that I would experience whenever my dad shocked the pool with chemicals. And here's the thing, I never peed in the pool, not a single time. I'm absolutely serious. My parents ingrained it in me so deeply to never pee in the pool that to this day, I can't even pee in the ocean. It's a serious psychological stumbling block. So what was going on? Well, it turns out it's a bit more complex than that. Um, the smell and the irritation come not just from your pee, but it comes from your pee interacting with the chlorine. Uh, the chlorine actually binds to the nitrogen in your pee and that creates chloramine, which is a derivative of ammonia, hence the irritation. And it's not just your pee that has nitrogen. Your poop has it, uh, but so does your sweat and dirt that might be on your body when you jump in the pool. And that's what finally made it make sense to me because I was a little tomboy and I was always running around the woods getting filthy before diving straight into the pool. It had never occurred to me that I would need to take a shower before getting into the pool. But here's the thing, you do have to do that. Uh, here's why. The uh, chlorine is there specifically in the pool to fight disease, to stop uh, nasty things like E. coli or cryptosporidium from getting into the water and then getting into you. And when the chlorine is too busy binding to all of that sweet, sweet nitrogen, there's nothing left over to actually fight the nasty bugs. And for that reason, you have a serious disease vector. So take a shower before you get in the pool. Don't pee in the pool. Don't poop in the pool. Who raised you? The CDC recommends that you avoid any pools or water parks with a strong chemical smell because that may mean that they're filled with nasty stuff. Of course, if you're looking for a clean water park, good luck. Uh, you'd probably be better off just donning a head-to-toe old-timey diving suit. Um, but, you know, think of it this way. Theme parks are there to thrill us, to scare us. And, you know, a log flume can be scary, but a log flume where you might drink somebody's poop water and then spend the next three days on the toilet praying for death, that's terrifying.